Good morning, I'm Katie Cirincioni. And I'm Katie Fogarty, and this is WHBS TV Friday Morning News. This past summer, members of Westlake High School's Technology and Engineering Department won some big awards at the Ohio State Fair. Garrett Uderhark had a chance to talk to some of the winners. Katie, how'd you come up with the idea for this? We had to redesign a building when we were given different structures. So we chose the warehouse and we had to change it into a house, um, like a home for people to live in. How did how to feel to win an award for this? I felt very good because we spent a lot of time and effort on the project. Well, I saw a, a church on Center Ridge Road and I just built it off of that. I didn't even believe I could win an award. I, I thought I was the underdog the whole time and winning first place for outstanding award felt unbelievable. We had a project where we had to redesign the blade guard and landing gear of a drone. Uh, what is it supposed to do? Uh, basically, uh, if you run into a wall with your drone, um, the guards are there so you won't break all the blades off. And then the bottom's there so that way it'll keep some of the impacts from the actual drone itself. Three girls from the girls varsity tennis team are going to the state competition this year. WHPS caught up to them at the state send-off. How did you get into tennis? My dad has always been my coach, so he kind of led me into the sport when I was little. Uh, I followed after my brother and played tennis. Some of my cousins played tennis, and so when I saw them playing, I thought it would be fun. How are states structured? There are four divisions for all across Ohio, and we like they structure the draw. There's 16 teams that make it for singles and then 16 teams for doubles, so then you just randomly play uh, versus another seed that how many matches are you guys away, are each one of you away from winning the state championship? Uh, Ashley and I are four matches away. And four matches. <laughs> guys thinking you're going to win? Well, probably. Oh, the goal is to. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to the boys and girls soccer teams for receiving the second seed in the district playoffs this season. The boys soccer team plays North Ridgeville Saturday night at 7 o'clock in sectional final at Reed Field. Is there anything you guys are specifically doing this year, preparing the team more than previous years? We have one thing in mind this year, and that's States. Everything we do is building up to that one goal as a team. It really shows our team this year, like, the confidence and, like, never giving up throughout the whole game. The volleyball team will play Avon in the sectional final at Midview on Saturday at 1.30. Tell me a little bit about your season this year. We've been winning way more games than years past. Our goal is we want to be top three in our conference. You mentioned that the coach has been driving a couple of philosophies in your head. She mostly tells us to focus because we are like a crazy group of girls and we do get unfocused <laughs> very easily. So she's always making sure, like she always says to us, like focus, focus. Although the Demons lost to Lakewood last Friday, junior running back J.J. Coleman scored a great touchdown. They ran a play that we were pretty prepared for. It's a back out of the backfield, and we got a good push from the D-line, forced the quarterback throw it early, so I was just in position, picked it off, just ran with it. And I saw you dodge that uh, lineman. Yeah, their quarterback came down at a good angle, so I wasn't going to run through him or outrun him, so I just had to put a move on him try to get past in the end zone. Any student interested in a career in forensics or as a medical examiner is encouraged to apply for the Shadow Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner Student Day on Friday, November 17th. Applications are available in the Career Shadowing Office near the Attendance Office. Hurry, the deadline to apply is today, October 20th. Attention skiers and snowboarders. Please attend the mandatory meeting on Sunday, October 22nd at 2.30 in the Parkside Auditorium. A parent or guardian must also attend. We will be discussing the upcoming season and the new registration process. Please see the Ski and Snowboard Club page on the high school website for more information. Attention seniors and juniors, the University of Pittsburgh is visiting today, Friday, October 20th, during third period at 9.30 a.m. Tickets for tonight's football game at North Ridgeville are on sale now in the athletic office for just $4. All tickets at the door will be $6. Attention all crew for The Little Mermaid. There will be a mandatory full crew meeting this Monday, October 23rd at 3 p.m. in the PSC lobby. This is for all crew positions. Backstage, set construction, props, makeup, lighting, and sound. You must be in, in attendance in order to work the show. This has been Katie Serencioni. And Katie Fogarty. With today's Friday morning news.